Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a broken heart reading for the sign of Capricorn. This message is into, intended to look into how to resolve a conflict between you and another person, Capricorn. And in this message, we are going to look into your part of the challenge, your person's part of the challenge, what each of you can do to resolve the challenge. Are there other influences? Can it be saved? And is it worth it? I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, Capricorn, you're more than welcome in joining us. So, see what we can see for you guys for this energy. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Capricorn Spirit. What does Capricorn need to see? Someone may be coming back from your past. Capricorn. I feel like this person who is being channeled here is definitely a person that you have had a connection with before. Now, for those of you that are in a current connection, okay, this 10 of swords to me, I feel that this is your person's energy. I feel like this is something that they're coming out of. Okay. We're going to dive a little bit deeper. We're going to look into clarify all this energy, look a little bit deeper into this Capricorn. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. There's something in the title resonating. There's most likely going to be something in the message for energy cleanse kits, extended versions to the readings, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month. For free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Capricorn, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Three of Swords in the reverse, Capricorn. What I feel here is this is a person who you have with, you have pulled back from. I feel here you hold back a lot from this person because of whatever it is that you've gone through in the past. This is an energy of this person coming forward, trying to push things forward again. I do feel like you are in an energy here, Capricorn, of not wanting to move, not wanting to budge. And that is what's challenging this here at this time. Your person is wanting to push things forward here. They may come in king of coins. They may come in and just had won some money or gotten a promotion, something along those lines. But I do feel here, uh, Capricorn, that there is something that they're walking away from. Okay. Some specific lesson that they've had to endure here. Okay. I also feel... For some of you, they're trying to come back in and make amends. Not necessarily wanting to reconcile, just to apologize, make amends for the actions that they had taken. Maybe when you guys were in an argument, a disagreement, or when this was disconnecting. What I feel here, Capricorn, they may also um, express how they feel about whatever they're experiencing in their life at this time. I feel like whatever it is that they're experiencing, this ending, this Ten of Swords, whatever that Ten of Swords energy is resembling here, Capricorn, it's triggered them to 
think about unresolved issues that they had in your relationship with them. Trying to come back in to regain their own sense of balance, okay? Their own sense of stability. I feel here, Capricorn, that you at this time may be reluctant, okay? You may be reluctant to come forward or to want to talk to this person because of whatever experiences you guys had in the past. I feel here you will eventually open up. Um, so let's dive a little bit deeper into the your person's energy here. See what their intentions are moving forward. If you're finding this message is resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Capricorn, I feel here your person's intentions is, again, I feel here they want to apologize for something. A lot of you, there was some sort of disagreement, some sort of argument that had happened where maybe this falling out had caused there to be some ill feelings, okay? And I feel here that they sense that you're still holding on to this. It's almost as if this person wants to come forward and apologize for this conflicted energy here, Capricorn, okay? I also feel here, Capricorn, you may be holding a, on to a grudge a little bit, okay? And they may know this. Your person may know this, okay? But I feel here they're wanting you to kind of let this go, okay? And this may be the intention for the, apo the apology. So what's holding this back between Capricorn and this person? Please and thank you, Spirit. I feel like you're blocking this person out right now, Capricorn. You're not wanting to move things forward. Two of Swords, Chariot in the reverse with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. You're not talking to this person. Not moving things forward. I do feel like you are kind of holding on to this past a little bit here, Capricorn. A lot of it. And this is becoming a disruption not only in this connection, but in your life. Here's the thing, guys, and I'm only speaking from personal experience. When we hold on to a grudge, a person did, that did us wrong, you know, maybe they hurt us or caused pain in some sort of way. And you hold on to this pain for so long. It doesn't necessarily hurt this person. This person could have moved on did whatever they wanted to do moving forward. I feel here, Capricorn, that what's happening at this time, the universe is presenting you an opportunity to grow and learn from the situation, okay, to gain closure. I know it sounds funny that a person would reach out to try to apologize. You know, everybody thinks that maybe people have ulterior motives, but there are programs, there are, you know, counseling sessions and different healing things that people go through that will allow them to want to open up and apologize. Okay. So don't be so rigid when it comes to the communication with this person. However, Capricorn, even if you don't allow this person to come in and apologize, or maybe for some of you, there isn't an opportunity. Maybe this person, there's distance between you and this person, something along those lines. There's still a need to release this, release this grudge. There's, you can't hold on to this any longer. It's going to cause more harm than good. This Three of Swords energy, it's betrayal. It's a significant loss in your life, Capricorn. And when you hold on to this, it causes everything in your life to be disrupted. So where is this headed if you stay in this energy? Lots of disruptions here, Capricorn. Lots of disruptions. 
three of swords in the reverse, six of cups in the reverse, and the queen of pentacles, all three in the reverse. You can stay in this energy for as long as you want. Everybody has their own free will. But the more you hold on to this pain, this resentment, this anger, the more it's going to cause you to feel Every time you go through this rumination process, holding on, thinking about you don't want to go through this again, it brings up similar emotions that you experienced in the moment, in the heat of the action. So try to have an understanding here, Capricorn, that not only holding on to this, you might be hurting this person or not allowing this person back into your life, which is fine. You can still not allow them back into your life and let go of this. Let go of this betrayal. Like, you know what? Thanks for the lesson that I've learned here. But I have to do what's best for me. So what is the advice guidance moving forward for Capricorn here? Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see where this is all headed. The outcome, if the advice is followed, it's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. So, Capricorn, your perception is changing here. Okay, Eight of Swords. The Hanged Man and Eight of Cups. Your perception is changing. I feel here what once held you back, what once kept you stuck, what once made you feel trapped in this connection. You're letting go. For some of you, you're looking at the lesson that is being learned here and moving forward. And that's a beautiful energy. Understand Capricorn by holding on to these grudges, these painful feelings. It only causes us to feel that emotion anytime that we're triggered to think about it. It could be 20 years down the road. You could have suppressed that memory so good that it's 20 years down the road and that situation comes back up. And you'll feel all of those emotions that you suppressed in that moment all over again. However, Capricorn, instead of questioning why this person is apologizing, trusting the universe works in mysterious ways is going to be important here. If you allow this person to come back in to apologize, say their piece and you can even say Capricorn I appreciate the gesture however I don't accept your apology I don't think it's genuine that's fair but at least hearing them out say this it's going to start the process of deeper healing soul journey message coming out for your reading Capricorn is change I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. There is a certain comfort in the idea of living life with no surprises. The status quo has an appeal, but you will never learn or grow if your circumstances stay the same. Everybody wants life to be better, but that requires change. You've chosen to incarnate into this physical dimension called Earth because of the myriad of opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, what's the point? Staying within your comfort zone is overrated. With change comes transformation, and with transformation comes evolution. Stop viewing change as good or bad because all change nourishes your soul. Don't equate it with a lack of control because life happens. It's supposed to happen. You can direct how it plays out and you always have the power to accept a change 
that redirects your path. I feel here, Capricorn, it's hard. It's hard for you to let go of this pain that you're holding on to. But I do feel here, Capricorn, that you will find life is a lot lighter on the other side. So your four truths message coming out for your reading, Capricorn, don't take anything personally. Love and respect yourself. You're never responsible for the actions of others, but you are responsible for you. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. You may hurt for a while, but your heart will eventually heal. Love and respect yourself. Beautiful, beautiful. So Capricorn, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste. Hello, Capricorn, and thank you guys for continuing to watch. I added this little excerpt at the end of the videos to announce the astrological signs, to give little messages that I have channeled in between. So the astrological signs that I see coming out in the reading here, we have air energy, we have Pisces, we have earth energy, lots of earth energy, okay? We have Sagittarius, Capricorn, okay? I do feel here, Capricorn, that this person coming back to apologize is the universe sending you a message that it's time to let go. It may seem like a weird way for things to happen, but sometimes we wouldn't receive the message if it had come any other way. It's time to let this go, Capricorn. So thank you guys so much again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.